yeah, did I show you the backpack? I got the, I added the effect that I got in some event as a reward. says friend entity polo observed your signal approach but it was anomalous the signature was from the wrong time are you well not incomplete not fading not as visor light flares burning with concern and distress i reveal the mind art I tell Nada about Artemis, about Gnome, and about the Mind Art. It glows brightly as I reveal it. Nada says, it is Echo. I, I never thought to see a traveler soul. You are so beautiful. But friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. I ask why. Nada says Artemis Echo will never have body again, will never explore again. Old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine no, not machine. It is something living. A refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. All right, I say I've decided. He says, go and speak with Polo, Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter what your decision. I leave. Nada says, whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are Traveler friend. Polo says, Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you, no matter the choice. Polo says I will prepare the machine. It is Nada Friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. You go upstairs, head to the right. Now, because this machine is said to be living by Nada, and because in future quests, these echoes um, are put in those autophage machines, from what I understand, I am going to keep um, Artemis alive here. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended too often and with great love. I feel a whisper, Nada's faint hum over the speaker. As they commune with the machine, the words on panel unscramble themselves. Nada, the terminal says, Nada, entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation, right enabled. The relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so dear to Nada, 
It will act as a home for Artemis, should I wish it. So, you see the care they have with the machine, how special the machine is. I will upload Artemis instead of allowing him to die. He will become part of this supposedly living machine. I upload Artemis to the simulation, a spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. Nada tells me that it is done. For my sake, they will permit transmissions to and from this simulation, at least while the anomaly passes through safe systems. They warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow adjusted to their new life. says Artemis Echo will live on. The traveler took them from corruption and restored them to a life of exploration, to see a solar system that none but Korvax have ever witnessed. You have done well, traveler. Polo says, don't worry, friend. We will take good care of Artemis simulation. The souls of your allies are safe with us. Okay, and that... Um, concludes the part with Artemis. This is not the conclusion of the Artemis line, but that finishes supposedly saving Artemis. It says here, return to space to let Artemis, uh, to let Apollo know about Artemis's fate. Use XF. Apollo says, are you receiving? Apollo says the hollow terminus is showing available again. Your signal was thought you were gone. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. I explain. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best I can. The gateway, the strange, strange planet, a vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It is just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the atlas itself. Apollo says, you, you saw it? You met the atlas, the Get, the Corvax? They worship it as a god. I never thought it was real, never thought. Notice God is a lowercase g there. Apollo says, are you all right? I can't imagine what you've gone through. I say it was just a machine. I tell Apollo of the things the Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels, as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. Apollo says at least it didn't harm you, and I think, I think there's something in what you've just said. 
The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel Nest. We'll be rich before we know it. I say there are more important things. I suggest we have bigger things to worry about. The Atlas felt hostile, inexplicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that has happened since. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave, and my encounter with the mysterious traveler Null. I suggest there is more going on here than an opportunity to earn units. Apollo says Artemis is dead? I... I don't... How? Who would... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared. They believed. And I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. I tell him of my choice. I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell them that Artemis' soul lives on only with a simulation unable to go beyond. I ask if this was right. It's a long time before Apollo speaks again. Will they be happy? Apollo asks me that question. Will they be happy? And I say I hope so. Apollo said you did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. Apollo says, I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith, search for patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. Okay, I'll give you a spoiler here. I'll use C. Um, let me just describe. I will try to connect with Apollo, but we will be in the same place at the same time and not see each other. The conclusion there is that we are in parallel universes. I'm not interested in connecting to him. Um, that we're in parallel universes. And then um, I'll be with Null and the Atlas and begin a journey towards the center of the universe. So that will be in later episodes. Let's just land this thing. It took me to a different planet to do this.
this planet looks nicer. It's got radiation. It's got magnetized ferrite, uranium, and copper. I might put a base on this planet. Yeah, after the episode, I'm gonna explore this system. I'm gonna end the episode in a little bit. And, um... Probably set up some base. Anomaly, anomaly, anomaly. I see the stone of the monolith. It's immovable, muted silver. And yet something lurks beneath. It is gray and yet not gray. A crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate portal. So monoliths will let you locate portals in the game. So that's the lesson you should take here. 